Roberto Martin Antonio Bobby Bonilla is a former player in Major League Baseball of Afro-Puerto Rican descent who played from 1986 to 2001. Through his 16 years in professional baseball, Bonilla accumulated a .279 batting average, with a .358 OBP and a .472 slugging. He was also part of the Florida Marlins team that won the 1997 World Series. Bonilla also led the league in extra base hits during the 1990 MLB season and doubles during the 1991 MLB season. He also participated in six All-Star Games and won three Silver Slugger awards. From 1992 to 1994, Bonilla was the highest paid player in the league, earning more than $6 million per year. Bonilla is currently being paid approximately $1.19 million by the New York Mets each year. This was part of a deal made when the Mets released Bonilla before the 2000 season while still owing him $5.9 million for the final year of his contract. The deal expires in 2035, at which point Bonilla will have been paid $29.8 million for a season in which he did not even play for the Mets. Playing career, Bonilla was signed out of high school by Pittsburgh Pirates scout Sith Thrift. His rise through the Pirates' farm system came to a halt during spring training in 1985 when he broke his right leg in a collision with teammate Bip Roberts. The White Sox then acquired him through the Rule 5 draft. Bonilla made his major league debut with the White Sox. Sid Thrift, then the Pirates' general manager, reacquired the unhappy Bonilla in exchange for pitcher Joseph copyright to Lee Cuben. Bonilla also played from 1984 to 1988 with the Mayaga one quarter as Indians of the Puerto Rican Winter League. Pittsburgh Pirates, Bonilla became the Pirates' starting third baseman in 1987, but after committing 67 errors over his next two seasons, manager Jim Leyland moved him to right field. There he formed a formidable combination alongside stars Barry Bonds and Andy Van Slyke and helped propel the Pittsburgh Pirates to two of their three straight NL East titles from 1990 to 1992. From 1986 to 1991, Bonilla had a .284 batting average, with 868 hits, 191 doubles, 114 home runs, and 500 RBIs. He led the league in extra base hits in 1990, and in doubles in 1991. Bonilla also made the All-Star team four years in a row. In October 28, 1991, he became a free agent. New York Mets, in 1992, Bonilla was signed as a free agent by the New York Mets to a five-year, $29 million contract, making him the highest paid player in the league at the time. However, Bonilla's offensive production diminished, finishing with a .270 batting average, 95 home runs, and 295 runs batted and during his tenure with the Mets. Despite a modest offense, Bonilla ended up participating in two more All-Star games. Bonilla's stay in New York was also marred by a number of incidents, such as threatening sports writer Bob Klippish that he would show him the Bronx in response to his book on the 1992 Mets. The worst team money could buy, the collapse of the New York Mets. On another occasion, he called the press box during a game to complain about an error that he was charged with. Orioles Dodgers, finally, in 1995, Bonilla was traded by the Mets with a player to be named later to the Baltimore Orioles for Damon Buford and Alex Ochoa. After helping the Orioles to the American League Championship Series in 1996, he was once again granted free agency and signed with the Florida Marlins. Reunited with his old manager, Jim Leyland, he helped the Marlins win the 1997 World Series. He returned with the Marlins for the 1998 season and batted .278 through 18 games. However, in May 14, 1998, he was traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers, along with Manuel Barrios, Jim Eisenreich, Charles Johnson, and Gary Sheffield, in exchange for Mike Piazza and Todd Seale. Bonilla spent the rest of the 1998 season with the Dodgers batting .237, with seven home runs and 30 runs batted in. Back to the Mets, in November 1998, the New York Mets reacquired Bonilla from the Los Angeles Dodgers in exchange for Mel Rojas. Again, 
his level of play did not measure up to expectations and he had numerous clashes with manager Bobby Valentine over lack of playing time. His tenure in New York culminated in an infamous incident during Game 6 of the 1999 NLCS where the Mets were eliminated by the Braves in an 11-inning game while Bonilla reportedly sat in the clubhouse playing cards with teammate Ricky Henderson. After his subpar 1999 season, the Mets released Bonilla, but still owed him $5.9 million. Bonilla and his agent offered the Mets a deal, Bonilla would defer payment for a decade and the Mets would pay him an annual paycheck of $1.19 million starting in 2011 and ending in 2035, adding up to a total payout of $29.8 million. Mets owner Fred Wilpon accepted the deal mostly because he was heavily invested with Benzie scheme operator Bernie Madoff, and the 10% returns he thought he was getting on his investments with Madoff outweighed the 8% interest the Mets would be paying on Bonilla's initial $5.9 million. As a result, the payout was a subject of inquiry during the Madoff investment scandal. Atlanta Braves, Bonilla signed with the Braves in 2000 and played a mostly uneventful 114 games for them. He did achieve his highest batting average since the 1997 season, although he hit only five home runs, a far cry from his career high of 34. St. Louis Cardinals, in 2001, he was signed by the St. Louis Cardinals, but injuries reduced his playing time. He played his final game on October 7, 2001 and finished the season with a .213 average, 37 hits, 5 home runs, and 21 runs batted in. He officially retired after the season finished citing injuries and reduced playing time as the main reason for his decision. Overall, Bobby Bonilla finished his career with one championship, six All-Star appearances, and career statistics of 2010 hits, 287 home runs, 1,173 runs batted in, and a career .279 batting average. Personal life, Bonilla met Madaglia Euro OE Milli Euro Bonilla at Herbert Lehman High School in the Bronx. They married in the late 80s and had two children together. In 2009, Bonilla and his wife divorced. Charity in February 1992, Bonilla and his wife Millie started the Bobby and Millie Bonilla Public School Fund with $35,000. The fund will benefit different schools attended by Bonilla and his wife, by contributing $500 for every run the slugger bats in for the Mets. Bonilla has also participated in other charity events, like the Players Trust All-Star Golf Tournament, organized by Dave Winfield and Joe Maurer in 2014. See also. List of top 300 Major League Baseball home run hitters, List of Major League Baseball players with 2,000 hits, List of Major League Baseball players with 400 doubles, List of Major League Baseball players with 1,000 runs, List of Major League Baseball players with 1,000 RBI, List of Major League Baseball doubles champions, References External links, Career statistics and player information from Baseball Reference, or a Fangraphs, or at the Baseball Cube, or a Baseball Reference, Bobby Bonilla at the Internet Movie Database.